past month has been very busy for me. I recently got married, moved to a new house, and now I find myself designing a new office space. Although the new office space is not complete yet, today I want to show you my new desk space, the items I have on it, where I got them, and how I use them to do my daily work as an architect and designer. I've also linked everything in the description below for discount codes, and if there's anything you like, you can check them out. The centerpiece of the setup is of course the desk. It's the same all white desk I had in my previous setup which is from a company called Ergo Home. It measures 150 cm in length and 70 cm in depth. It's wide enough to accommodate all of my activities but not too wide that I need extra support. The control panel is quite simple with four presets and two buttons that control its up and down motion. Managing the cables underneath is also pretty easy using velcro and command strips. I still have the LG 32UN880B as my monitor. Its colors are vibrant and the pixel density is really great despite it being just 4K. This is a great monitor for video and photo editing, architectural renderings, and other creative tasks that require color accuracy and precision. I particularly enjoy its ergonomic stand which is sturdy and allows the monitor to have many different angles that allow you to comfortably work on your projects whether sitting or standing. On top of my monitor, I still use the Basis iWalk Monitor Light Bar which is one of the most affordable light bars out there that gets the job done and it also frees up real estate on your desk if you need to use it for lighting up your desk. To freshen up my space, I have this greenery wallpaper collection to add some touch of green to my workspace. You can get it back for yourself from the Arcurate store which is linked in the description below. One thing I didn't have before is a desk shelf, and I never realized how important it is to have one until I added one to my desk. Thankfully, the good folks from Grovemade sent over this beautiful solid walnut desk shelf that adds some warmth and texture to my otherwise monotonous space. Its color is the perfect match for my white tabletop, and it offers a great way to organize my small things that I frequently use on a day-to-day -day basis. The insides are made of premium aluminum, and its legs are made of natural cork stained with a beautiful Japanese ink. Sitting on top of the desk is my Orbit Key Nest and my speakers, which I'll get to in a moment. Inside the shelf, I also use this beautiful and sturdy desk tray which stores my note-taking tools, my AirPods, and other miscellaneous items that I need for quick and easy access. Connected to my screen is my custom-built Windows PC. I use it for all my design projects and it handles them perfectly. It's a great workhorse for all the creative tasks I do, and even gaming on it is a sublime experience. It has a 1TB NVMe SSD for computing and a 1TB SATA storage to store all my files. It also has 32 gigs of RAM and a 3070 Founders Edition graphics card. For my peripherals, I use this Keychron K3 and Logitech MX Master 3 combo. I change the keycaps of the Keychron K3 to all white to freshen up the look, and for my mouse, I don't see the need to upgrade it anytime soon. To ground things together, I use this soft and elegant wool felt desk mat from Grovemade. It's a medium sized dark gray one, and it's such a great desk pad because the mouse easily glides over it without any problems at all. It also helps protect both the mouse and the tabletop surface from any scratches or dings. For my speakers of choice, I use the Logitech Z407. It's one of the most budget-friendly options if you'd like to experience clear sound when watching movies or listening to music. It comes with a subwoofer and this dial that controls the volume. Subwoofers are essentially put on the ground but I decided to put it on my desk so I can cable manage the speakers more properly. They are connected via Bluetooth to my PC and although there's a little bit of audio and synchronization latency, they still sound very good and I would recommend these speakers for anyone who are on a budget but still require good sound quality. And that's about it for my new desk tour. 
I try to keep things as minimal as possible with only a few essential key pieces that allow me to focus more on the task at hand and to increase my productivity and workflow. As for the rest of the office space, I still have yet to reconfigure and finalize their placements and design. On the other side of the room is my music production setup, which I will be showcasing sometime else when the configuration is done. I hope you enjoyed this short tour and before we end, I'd like to give Grovemade another huge thanks for sending over some desk essentials which freshened up my space and added more versatility to my workflow. If you have any questions about the setup, ask and I will do my best to answer them. With that being said, if this video was in any way helpful or added value to you, feel free to give it a like and share it with your friends. You can also see some of my behind the scenes on my Instagram and Twitter. See you in the next one. Cheers!